Thanks for coming to my Shocker UI tutorial. What we're going to be talking about in this video is the user experience that this product wants the developers to have and ultimately the end user, some stats about Chakra, the design principles it's implementing, and then ultimately the installation so you could get up and going. And then in future tutorials, obviously, you make the magic happen. But right now, let's turn it to the floating head guy, or floating body, I should say, and let's get some details. Shocker UI, when it comes to accessibility, which is something we should all consider when we're creating any kind of technology that people are going to be using, says that it follows the strict WAI ARIA standards for all components, which is really cool, actually. The next point of discussion is the themeability or the themable aspect of it. And in the docs, it says it wants to be able to customize any part of your components to match your design needs. Some libraries out there allow you to customize to some extent but don't allow you full customization shocker ui allows you to go well above and beyond to meet whatever needs it is you have or your business has now beyond that there is the composable aspect of this shocker's documents say it is designed with composition in mind you could create new components with ease which is very 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 true as you see in the upcoming videos you will see that not only could you use the stuff they've created for you but then also whip up very highly customized stuff that is also highly themable in moments. Another great aspect of this is that there's light and dark UI. You could have light mode, you could have dark mode. I'll show you how to do that. I think it's essential. I try to run everything I can in dark mode because I'm just that cool. The next interesting part about this is the developer experience. They say they're guaranteed to boost your productivity when it comes to building your app or website. I know that kind of seems like business general talk, just trying to make a bunch of, you know, awesome bullet points. But as you see in this series, that is very true. And the last aspect of this is active community. You're always going to want an active and vibrant and fun community when it comes to any kind of technology. Because if you only have two people who are excited about it, you're not going to get much progress. And Shocker UI has a good community around it. So there'll be more and more updates to come. Here we could see that Shocker is actually growing quickly. It's got 250,000 downloads a month, 17,000 stars on GitHub, and has a lot of Discord members, and it also has seven core team members. While it is not the biggest library out there for React to use for your UI needs, it definitely is healthy, has room to grow, and maybe even you yourself could help contribute to some open source software and get your name out there. This next section, Design Principles, is going to look similar to some of the things we've already seen, but it goes a little bit more in depth. And so the first part of the design principle for Chakra is the style props. And according to the docs, it says all component styles can be overridden or extended via style props to reduce the use of CSS or some kind of styled function. You could also compose new components from box, which is really interesting, which I'll show you shortly. Another principle is simplicity. Chakra strives to keep the component API fairly simple and show real-world scenarios of using the component. No over-complexity, no over-engineering, there's no need for that here. The next principle is composition. They want to break down components into smaller parts with minimal props to keep the complexity low and compose them together. This will ensure that the styles and functional aspects are flexible and extensible. Next up is accessibility. When creating a component, they want to keep accessibility at the top of the mind. This includes keyboard navigation, focus management, color contrast, voiceover, and the correct ARIA attributes. Also, there is dark mode. They want to make components dark mode compatible. You could use use color mode hook to handle styling. Lastly is naming props. We all know that naming props is very, very hard to do in the industry. Generally, you want to ensure a prop is indicative of what it does. Boolean props should be named using auxiliary verbs such as does, has, is, and should. For example, buttons, uses, disabled, is loading, etc. In this section, what we're going to do is actually go and install Chakra. Now, in the um, section below that I'm going to have the npm and the yarn commands. I'm actually going to show them on screen as well, even though you can't really copy those and put them into your terminal. But I'm going to do npm because that's what I have set up on my computer. So 
I'm just going to go to the website and I'm going to come in down here and I'm obviously going to be in the root of my project and I'm going to come in and I'm going to paste this in. Now this may work fluidly for you. If it doesn't, then I'm going to show you some ways of getting around this install because I did hit a few bumps of my own. So we're going to hit enter. We could see that everything was added in just fine. Some issues occur though, coming back up here. Maybe you're adding a motion and you have this 11, 11, or the other emotion styled, and then framer motion is, you know, major release version four here. One thing you can do is just delete these. So you're just installing Shocker UI React, Emotion 4 slash React styled and motion that should get you the most recent or recent enough version to work with chakra that is one issue i've had sometimes in installations but as of right now it seems to be okay so the next thing we have to do is go to the very very root of our application which is index.js right here i'm not going to delete gut anything out i'm just going to keep everything as is because this is just a pure installation so i'm going to come down and you have to wrap a chakra provider around your application like this. And it's as simple as that. You just bring it in as an import, you wrap it around your application, you're inside of index.js, and now you're good to go. And in the next videos, we're gonna see well, how to do everything with Chakra. Hope you join.